Historically, pre-season has probably taken a bit more of a physical focus, whereas now the coach has obviously come in and, and we like to try and use analysis as much as we can. We're trying to implement the philosophy every single day in training, so all of the work he's doing is based around that, as well as the physical aspects, of course. There's four of us down here covering training every single day. Um, we're using a number of different products to do that. We've got cameras, we've got drones, we're using MacBooks as well to, to code the session um, from a philosophy point of view. And then every single day after training, we'll have video meetings as well, where we'll use the clips from the day. There would have been a certain f focus on the work that we've done. And we'll then use the clips and show the players in the evening and sort of just have a little review. And it just helps their learning and it obviously means that, that we're giving them the best chance to understand what the manager wants to try and implement. Performance analysis has become a lot more important since the new manager's come in. He thinks it's really important and, and there's a focus on it throughout all of the work that, that we do. He brought with him Steve Rands, who's a really experienced analyst. He's worked at other clubs before for 10 plus years and so he's improved all of us that were working here previously as well. We'll get there quite early and um, we'll get there before the players and, and, and make sure everything's set up so we'll set the cameras up we've been lucky enough this year to get to get a lot of cameras so we've got the capture mask that we'll use we use the drone and then we'll use a normal camera that we'll, we'll, we'll live capture through and so I'll be getting a feed from, from, from the camera into my laptop um, and then I'll be using, using the laptop to code sort of moments of the game based around our philosophy really so everything's based around our philosophy our coaching philosophy that the gaffers brought in. We talk all the time in the department about how we can directly affect the behaviour of the players um, and there's a number of ways that we do that. For example Steve Rands uh, every single game will be down on the bench he'll be with, next to the manager and the coaches and he'll have an iPad that's got a number of different angles that we're capturing from around the stadium uh, and that's beamed directly down almost live so the coaches and the manager and uh, Steve himself have got almost instant feedback from what's happening and it means that they can then go and directly affect what's happening on the pitch. We've had to adapt a bit out here we've had to bring three separate cameras for three separate angles whereas back at the training ground we've newly got installed some IP cameras which allow us to get various angles of different sessions but we sort of had to improvise over here with limited resources, which we've adapted to very well, to be honest. Um, and the coaches seem to be happy with the footage that we've got, um, which replicates that of the IP cameras maybe even slightly better with the drone. As the session's going on, I'll be clipping different drills um, and different moments of the game. I'll be doing some individual stuff as well. So there's certain players that we've picked out that we want to do a little bit of work on, um, especially the newer signings because they're not used to our philosophy and how we want to play. So this week's a really good week for us to be able to bed that information in and, and, and give them that learning. So another example of where we directly affect the behaviour of players would be the second leg of the playoff semi-final against Sheffield United, the penalty shootout. Obviously the photo of the bottle got a bit of traction on social media um, and a lot of work goes into putting that together with myself, the other analysts, the goalkeeper coach and it's absolutely fantastic when, when, it, when it pays off but we put that same level of detail and work into it every single week into the penalties, into the free kicks and plenty of other things as well and obviously it's brilliant when it works. Since the new staff have come in the department's improved massively in a number of different ways and the club's contributed to that as well with the addition of things such as the new meeting room at the training ground that we use most days as well as bringing in some of the best software in the industry that we as a department had asked for. So we're really happy with the place that we're in, but for us it's always about looking forward, about looking at what's next and how we can get even better.